there quirky birdies it's Lynn here and um, I just thought I'd pop on and um, record a very very um, just a lovely video tutorial um, demonstrating some Christmas festive designs for you so these designs are new they're different um, and we're going to work on them um, together if you're painting along with me this afternoon but I've got um, just some designs that are suitable for some Christmas cards um, and I've also got some designs that are smaller as well. So we've got things like the little Christmas pudding and we've got some little presents here. Um, but really, as usual, all of the designs are suitable to either be upsized or downsized um, to go on to your Christmas cards, your Christmas gift tags um, or anything really. So today... I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to do this little um, Christmas bauble and a little alternative to that design is this one where I will show you how to just do the same card but with a little spin on it um, and the word joy. I'm going to show you how to do this little half wreath. We've got some very simple little watercolour illustrations um, with the, um, the mistletoe, so we're going to be doing those. And then we've got a little Christmas pudding and some little Christmas gifts. So, a lot to get through. Um, like I say, new designs to, to experiment with and to have a play around with. So let's make a start and jump straight in. So I've got a piece of A5 paper, watercolour paper here, that I've just folded in half to make a little A6 card. And the first thing that we need to do is we just need to put in the background to our little half wreath. And all we're going to do is just put in this very, very pale green wash that you can see just behind our little wreath and berries. And we're also going to be putting in um, the splatter of the greens and the yellows. Um, so we just need to get that background in place to allow that to dry before we carry on using um, the foliages to build up the little um, half wreath. So to begin with, all you need to do is take your pencil and then just draw a semicircle shape on your card. Now it doesn't have to be a perfect shape, we're only using it as a guide only. So as long as it resembles sort of a half a shape of a wreath then that's absolutely fine. And then what we need to do is taking up your pale green, you're just then going to just put a light wash all the way around that wreath. So just get it going that paint moving. You can just add more water to the paint instead of going back into your paint box. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you've got all of that semicircle covered, what you then need to do is you just want some nice longer wispy bits. So just work that paint going a little bit wider in places just to get that lovely sort of feathery texture. So. 
So you've just got these lovely sort of feathery softer lines on your on your wash. So once you've done that, what we then need to do is we just need to do the splatter. So taking up your paintbrush and again just holding your pencil, you just need to pick up some green. And you can really have some fun with your greens on this design. So you can mix yellow into your green to make it a little bit warmer. You can go the other way and you can mix blue into your green to get it like that lovely sort of slate type colour. So once you've got the green on your brush, you can then just apply that splatter just to this side of your card. Now a little tip when you're doing the paint splatter is to actually use one of your flatter, broader brushes and you actually get um, a much denser and bolder splatter of colour. Another colour that works well for the splatter is actually yellow. So I'll just put a little bit of yellow on there. And that's it. So we're just going to let that dry. So I'm going to put that to one side to dry and we will come back to that later. And I'm just <laughs> very quickly, um, I'm just going to wipe my desk off because I've managed to get yellow paint all up my desk. Right, it's gone. <laughs> okay, so while that's actually drying, um, we will work with our second design and our second design again is just a simple little card that I'm just going to fold in half now for this you need something that's round to draw around and on an A6 card it's ideal to use the top of a hairspray bottle or um, polish bottle anything like that and all we're going to do is we're going to position our plastic lid and then just draw around our lid. Now our circle is positioned centrally from left to right but then it does just come down a little way from the top um, because that's where we're going to put our little our little hook and then the next thing that we need to do is just take a ruler and we just need to put around a little pencil border so I'm just working probably just about half a centimeter away from the edge and you just want to just go all the way around your card and then we'll just put the last one in it you're now ready to paint your little bauble design and we're just going to paint it by just infilling our little bauble um, using some different foliages and like I say we can experiment with the, um, the different greens we can also have the different tones of greens and the different leaf shapes so it's just very very simply um, illustrated so starting off, I'm just using my usual um, 
size five little brush at the moment. And I'm just going to begin with by just putting in that lovely central little stem. And then from that, I'm going to pop a couple of little oval leaves. Just keeping it very, very simple. So we can just join those stems up to our main branch. And we'll just put one just on the end there, like so. Let's take that back a bit, it's a little bit heavy. And then we can use some darker colour greens. So using a darker colour green, we can just freehandly just paint in a little holly leaf. So just using those little scalloped edges. And let's just do two of those. So I'll pop another one just along the bottom here. change the green again and this time we can add in a little sort of fur type leaf so again just do your linear stem and then from your stem just push out those little feathery edges like so You can put another couple of little single little leaves in. So we'll just dot a couple of those around our bauble. You can then mix a little bit of green and yellow together to get a much lighter colour green. And let's just put a little fur type leaf in here only this time just using a series of little V's that are joined up together and we'll pop just a couple of nice more sort of linear type leaves in And then lastly, I just want to put just one at the top here. You don't need to overwork it. And you do need to allow space for your little berries. So for the foliages, that's pretty much it for now. And then we can add in, we've got space then still to add in our little red berries, which we're not going to do yet. We're going to just leave that to dry. And then once that's actually dried, we can then um, start to add in our little berries. But first of all, we need to put the border in on our little card. So you can use a nice Christmassy colour, you can use a nice little bit of red or orange or yellow. And then you just need to put your linear line in. So we'll just go all the way around that pencil, just following that pencil line. 
and like I've said to you before it's actually easier to do a linear line holding your brush further up the handle because you have a much much softer and more fluid range of movements from up there than you do if you hold your brush closer to the, um, the bristles. So we'll just come along the top And it really doesn't matter if your line is actually thicker in places compared to to others that's absolutely fine and to be honest it's half the charm of a hand painted card so please don't worry that it's going to be perfect and everything's going to be um, the same thickness it really doesn't matter so once you've got to that point, again, you can pop that to one side just to let that dry and we shall continue with that in a little while. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to change that design and just make a little wreath. And if you do that, what you then can do is make your card in a landscape format again exactly the same put in your pencil border only this time we're going to centralize that um, you will centralize that um, wreath that single um, round shape in the middle so you've got room either side to put the letter J and also the letter Y so if you're going to do your wreath then I'll just show you on this piece of paper here so again, just taking your um, plastic, your plastic lid, you can then just draw all the way around it, like so. And then again, just having some fun with your different greens. We can start by just following that linear line first. Let's just put some nice fur type foliage in there. You can then put a couple of little oval leaves. You can put a holly leaf. Or just put another little fur type leaf so you can do your little your little V's coming out of the central point of the leaf we'll pop in a little linear stem just some shaped leaves on there And again some little oval leaves, a more linear type leaf. And then we'll just put some more little simple oval leaves in around here. So just very, very simple indeed. So we'll pop that to one side and we'll just let that dry and then once that's dry we can then add in our little Christmas berries. So again we'll pop that over there. 
So the next design that I would like to show you is how to do these fun little Christmas puddings. And these are great. Um, they make a fantastic little card. You can upsize them quite nicely to an A6 card. Or they will sit really quite perfectly on a smaller piece of paper um, and just make these little um, Christmas gift tags. If you're doing any handmade or hand-baked little presents this year, then to actually pop something like this onto your handmade, um, if it's chutneys or a cake or even a pudding, it would just look really quite, quite effective. So to do your little pudding, you need your pencil. And what you're going to do is you're just going to start by just drawing in that pudding shape. like so and then just pop a rounded bottom onto it you can put some nice oversized berries on the top of your pudding and you can then pop some little holly leaves And that's it for the drawing. Just very, very simple indeed. So you're just putting in your simple pudding shape, a rounded bottom, your little berries, and then your holly leaves. So what we're going to do with our little pudding is we're actually going to let the white of the paper just provide us with that lovely um, texture of icing. So what we're going to do is taking up a little bit of a nice pale brown. So you can actually mix a darker brown with some yellow or some white. And then all you're going to do is just come down the side of your pudding and then just do a nice wavy line. It's quite random. Like I say, that white is then going to give us the icing on our Christmas pudding. So we'll then just fill that space in using the pale brown. Now we really don't want there to be any real sort of brush marks or lines on this so just take some time and just lift off any excess paint so you've just got a really really nice smooth finish. Like so. And then we can pop in the red for our, our berries, our Christmas berries. So we can just pop some nice, nice bright red into our berries. Like so. And then we need the green. So we just need the green of our holly leaves. Now just be careful when you do the green that you have got um, a line of separation between the red of those berries and also um, the green of the holly leaf because the last thing that you would want to happen is for the green of that lovely leaf bleed into the red of your berry. So please do make sure that you've actually got that line of separation. If you feel that your drawing is all a little bit too close, 
and your leaves and your berries are a little bit too close together then just wait for your berries to actually dry before you add in um, the green of your leaves. It's absolutely fine. Now our little pudding has a lovely texture about it and it's just got this then this second layer of, of colour. And you now all know that to be a layer of glazing where we've got this lovely defined line. So that's the next thing that I'm going to do is just put that line all the way along just to give it that little bit of glazing. Now you can mix it a little bit differently and make it a little bit more of a tonal colour. That's absolutely fine too. So I've mixed a tiny little bit of green into my pale brown. And that's just given me this lovely colour. Like so. Again, just lift off any of that excess paint because you don't really, on a simple illustration like this, you don't really want that paint to be pooling. You just want it looking quite, quite nice. There's no need for there to be any additional shading. Like so. Okay. And then the next thing to do is to just put a little bit of a grey shading just at the bottom. So that's all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of shading just around the bottom. Like so. Now I can't do any more on that now um, because I can't actually add in the fruit on the pudding until that um, pudding itself is actually dry. So again I'll just put that over to one side with the rest of our illustrations that are currently drying and then we can work on that again in a little while. Okay so the next design that I'm going to show you Let me just grab another little bit of paper. <clears throat> I thought I got enough paper out, but obviously I haven't. So let me just grab a little bit. This is my um, my scrap paper wallet, um, and it's not scrap paper. Basically, um, it's offcuts of um, images and, and paintings that I've done. Um, but all of these offcuts do come in because they come in for things like um, the bookmark. So if it's usable and um, I'm able to, to make something else out of it, then I do actually collect it all and just save it and pop it all in this, um, this little plastic wallet. So I've got um, another little scrap piece of paper, we'll just use that one for now. And I'll just grab the scissors. And just cut that off like that. So just very quickly, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to do these little presents. Now again, these little presents are really quite simple and quite easy to do. And they make a smashing little gift tag. So all we're going to do is just, you can do it with a ruler if you want to have that straight edge, but I'm just going to do mine freehand. And we're just going to draw just a series of little parcels 
all stacked up on one another. With a larger, squarer one on the top. Now you can just put some pencil lines on the middle one. You can draw a little gift tag on the bottom one. And then the top one will do a nice big bow. And just put those tails in. And again, you can decorate your little parcels however you wish. So I'm just going to make a start with the bottom one. And all I'm doing for the bottom one is just doing a series of little, little red dots. Or little red circles. Not forgetting to put some little semicircles on the edge of the parcel. So it looks like the wrapping paper has been wrapped around the edge of the parcel. We'll just pick up some of that excess paint. Another little semicircle up there, like so. The middle one, we can just use some of the green and just very, very lightly just put some smaller little dots all over your parcel. Just keeping it all quite random. don't need to keep loading your brush you should be able to get through all of the parcel with just one dip into your paint tin and then the last one we can just use um, a nice bit of blue sort of the ultramarine type colour and let's just paint in the bow and do the tails the knot one side of the bow and then we'll just do the next And that's it. That's all we need to do for our little um, present gift tag. And again, that goes with the rest of our, our um, images just to dry. But actually, just very quickly, just before I do that, I'm just going to put another little semicircle up here. It didn't look very even. Let's put one at the bottom there. That's better. better. So pop that to one side and let that dry and then lastly I'm going to show you how to do the mistletoe. Now the mistletoe is um, a bit of a different technique and it's not something that we've done before um, and it may be that you want to try um, and just 
um, experiment um, on, a, on again on a little bit of um, scrap paper and you just want to actually have a go at the brush technique um, that I'm going to show you. So I'll just move that to one side for now and I've got a bit of scrap paper here it's got a little bit of red um, on it at the moment but that doesn't matter we're not going to use this for the design I'm just going to show you how to do the brush strokes. So I'm going to take up a little bit of dark green for the moment, but this isn't the green that I'm going to use for the um, the mistletoe. We do need to tone the colours down a little bit. But in order for you to do your little mistletoe leaves, what you're going to do is put your paintbrush down on the paper at the tip of where your leaf is going to be. Push that brush down, splay the bristles and then lift off. So let me just show you that again. Let me use a different colour. So tip of the paper where your leaf, the tip of your leaf is going to be. Push the brush down, splay the bristles and lift off. Let's see if we can see any better with the black. So tip of the leaf, push the brush down, splay the bristles and lift off. Tip of the leaf, push the brush down, splay the bristles and lift off. And you can see that that just creates these lovely different shapes of leaves. So tip of the leaf, push down and lift off. Tip of the leaf, push down and lift off. And that's the kind of texture that you're then looking for in your mistletoe leaves. Now, if you're feeling that you can't manage that or you've had a go and it doesn't work for you, then you can still just do your little simple sort of oval shaped leaves. That's absolutely fine. So you can still do a very, very similar shape with just using that oval leaf. So you can still do it and just change the way that you're painting. But it's nice to see if you can actually have a go at introducing that, that lovely different texture. And it just then has a little softness about it as well. So that's my test piece just going to one side. And then I'll bring in my piece of paper. Now the colours of our mistletoe are just really quite nice and simple. So we're going to be using a nice pale um, green. You can mix your green and your blue together to get a lovely sort of slaty sort of um, eucalyptus type colour. Um, you can mix um, green and a touch of black and white again just to tone that colour down and just get that lovely paler colour. And the other thing that works really quite nicely is a grey. So you can actually use a grey And pop a little bit of blue into that grey. Okay. So, let's make a start. I'm going to start with the tip. And I'm just going to start with a nice pale colour to begin with. So, Tip of the brush, push down, splay the bristles and lift off. And then we'll repeat that at the side. So tip of the brush, push down, lift off. And then tip of the brush, 
push down and lift off. And those three points gives us the, um, the, the markers in which we're going to, to work in. So I'll just put another couple of leaves within that shape. So tip of the brush on the paper, push down, lift off. Tip of the brush on the paper, push down and lift off. Let's put one in the middle. Like so. And then we can mix our colours. So I'm going to use a little bit of blue mixed with a little bit of white and then a touch of green. And we'll repeat the process again. So tip of your leaf, push down, lift off. Put another blue one down here. Now I'll just put one more like so. Now at this point we do need to let that dry a little bit because we will be then over painting. So what we can do is we can just put in our stems. So I'm just using a little bit of a darker green and we'll just put a couple of little stems in place. Just keeping it very, very simple. So I've still got a little bit of pooling paint, in particular just down this side here. So while that's drying, I'm just going to pop that to just one side. And what we can do is we can bring back our Christmas wreath. And all we're going to do with this is just start to build our Christmas wreath up. So using the lovely colours of greens that we've been mixing and playing about with today, you can just begin by painting a very simple little oval leaf. We can group three of those together, so I'll pop another one just here. And then let's do another one here. We can do a nice linear sort of fur type foliage coming down the centre. So again, just put in that linear line and then just push your feathery edges out from that central stem. Using the greens and the yellows, let's put a series of little smaller, paler leaves in. And just imagine where they get, they're going to sit on a stem. We can pop some stems in there in a moment. Oh, 
like so. Let's just put some um, some more sort of foliage type little leaves in, so we can just put those little V-shaped leaves in. Let's just pop another one this side. Just put some nice linear type leaves in. They're just great as a bit of a filler, really. They do work quite nicely. Pop some smaller, smaller leaves about. You just have to keep your, your shapes just very, very simple. And we just don't need to be overworking it at all. So I'm just going to pop one more in there. And just one there. And that's it for the leaves. So again, we just need to pop that to one side to dry and then we'll add in the lovely stems and the red of our berries. So I'll pop that to one side. And we can just bring back our little Christmas pudding. And all I'm going to do for the Christmas pudding is just put the fruits into our little Christmas pudding using a burnt sienna. And all I'm doing is just doing a little series of little circles and just dot those circles around the second layer of brown. So, just keep it nice and random. So there's the fruit for our little Christmas pudding. So again, just pop that over to dry. And then we'll just bring in our little foliage wreath. And on our little foliage wreath, we can then start to add in the red for the berries. So I'm just going to just dot our little red berries just around the wreath. Pop a couple around the holly leaf. Again, it's just very, very simple, but it just really is quite effective. So we'll just let that dry. And then just bring in our little bauble. I've never done things this way before. Usually we've just painted and then done the ink detailing. So it seems, it seems ever so strange to sort of be doing these designs in three layers of three, but that's fine. I usually save things like that for the daily art challenge, but these are just so lovely to paint and they don't take long at all. So 
And I think we've we've been going 50 minutes and we've got everything painted. We just need to add in some of the final details. But of course, if you're watching this after I've recorded it, you've got the luxury of pausing and rewinding. Or you could just switch me off. <laughs> so we've put our little berries into our bauble. And then what we can do is then, now we've just titivated those designs, is bring back our sprigs of mistletoe. So this time we can mix another shade of colour. You may want to go a little bit more blue or you may want to go a little bit more greeny. And we'll just repeat the process again. Only this time you can actually overpaint. So I've gone a little bit grey. It's just a bit too grey actually. Let's put a little bit green in there. That's better. So you again, you just repeat the process. Only this time you can actually overpaint onto your drier leaves. So tip your leaf, push down, lift off. Tip your leaf, spread those bristles out and lift off. Tip of the leaf, push down, lift off. Oops. Okay, let's um let's make that into a leaf then now it's landed there. There we go. Need to just drop a little bit more colour into that. There we go. I think I've got away with that. So, tip of the leaf, push down, and lift off. So let's just put a couple of little green ones in. And the ones that you're overpainting over the top, they just have an air of transparency about them, but it just helps to just build some depth. Like so. So once you've added in those paler colours and you've just given it a little bit of a lift, you can then um, attach a little bow to your design. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that burnt sienna colour. And I'm just going to put a loop to one side. And again come round the other. Let's just go all the way around those stems just to give it that impression that it's tied. And then you need to just bring your ties. You can bring it through your mistletoe. And we can also bring it round to the back as well. And that's it. That's all it needs to do. So we just need to let that dry. I'm 
just going to lift that bit of burnt sienna off. There we go, that's better. So we need to let that dry. And once that's dry, we can then just finish that design off. But that's it for now. Um, we've been painting for so 55 minutes. Um, and we've done one, two, three, four, five, six designs today. So I'm going to let them dry and I'll be back in a little while and we will do the ink detailing. So I shall see you all in a short while and um, we shall carry on. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm back and just very quickly, um, we just need to um, revisit our little um, half wreath. And we just need to put in our um, lovely stems and um, holly berries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the burnt sienna colour. And all I'm going to do is just very, very finely just put in a nice linear stem. And you need sort of three works really quite nicely. So if you just pop three little stems in. And then we'll just bring one, just a short one, just along here. And then we can add our little berries. So just taking up that lovely crimson red. You can pop a little berry on the end and just don't paint all of the berry, just allow a little chink of that paper to show through. So I'll pop another one just here. Just put the berries on the end of each of the stems, but don't get too close. And you can just pop a couple just loosely through your wreath if you wanted to. Just put one more in there. And that's it now for the painting of your little wreath. So we can just pop that to one side and that can continue to finish painting. And in the meantime, we can bring back your other design, the little bauble design. And for this one, we just need to put on the little hook on the top of the, of the bauble. So all you're going to do for this is literally just paint in three little sides. So at the top of the bauble, just paint in three loose little sides. Don't block it off completely so it's a solid, just have that nice sort of open end to the fourth side. And then you can just pop your hook on the top.
just take up any of that excess paint. It's pooling just a little bit heavily. Like so. So you've just then got your little your little hook just right on the very, very top of your ball bum. Put that with the wreath to dry. And then in the meantime, I'll bring back the pudding. And we can start adding in some of the ink details. So let me just grab my pen. Okay, now to do the ink details, again, you all know this now, and this is the point where the, the magic happens, so to speak. So I've just got my black fine liner pen. And all I'm going to do is just make a start by going around the outside edge of each of the presents. You can just draw around that little Christmas gift tag that we popped in. Put a little circle. And then just attach it with a little bow. We'll come around the outside edge of the, of the green one. And this time, we'll just put a couple of lines just across that parcel, just to indicate that it's wrapped up with the string. And then the last one, we can just make a start by popping in the bow. in those tails in the ribbon and then just draw around your little present so once you've got your little um, parcels all drawn drawn up and drawn round you can then just write the words no peeking so I'm just going to write no peeking and there you have it one very very simple little gift tag but really quite sweet and quite charming and like I say, it can be upsized um, to make into a Christmas card, but just looks great as a little simple um, and very, very easy and quick little gift tag to paint. So I'll just pop those to one side. And we'll just bring back the little wreath. Now all you're going to do on the little wreath on this one is just go around each individual leaf. My pen's not working. I'll grab another one. Let's try again. That's better. So just go around each individual leaf. can put some of the leaves on stems if you want to and you can decorate some of the leaves we'll go around the outside edge of the berries the little fur type leaves then just use the background that you've painted 
you don't have to go around each individual um, brush stroke but just add in the ink detailing using your pen so we'll come around this way pop that on a stem Come around the berries. I'll do the linear stems. And you just work your way methodically all the way around your little wreath central stem in there of this little fir type leaf and just come down and the last two little berries And then what you can do is you can actually use one of the metallic Sharpies and we can just put some little sprigs of berries around our design so we can just put a little line as a stem and then just using the Sharpie you can put some little gold berries on there. So let's um, pop one along here. And just keep it very, very simple. one more stem in. I think that'll do. And that's it. So it's a very, very simple little design to do, but it's really quite effective um, when you can mount it up into a little card. And like I say, if you're going to do it as a card, do your card landscape. So you're doing it landscape and then you've got space to write the letter J and the, light, the letter Y and that gives you the, um, the word joy. You could also just use it as a little wreath itself. Um, you could put some little ribbons on it. You can do, you can just decorate it however you wished. Um, again, works well as a little gift tag. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely, simple design to do. So I'll just pop those over to one side. And we'll bring back our little Christmas pudding. And we'll just do exactly the same on our little pudding. So we'll go around each of our little berries at the top. And we'll do our little holly leaf. And again the other side. And all we need to do is just come down the outside edge of our pudding. around the bottom and then just to neaten up that fruit 
just do a nice circle around each of the little pieces of fruit that you've got within your pudding. And then just underneath you can just write the word pudding. And there we have it, there's your little Christmas pudding design. Again, very, very sweet, but very simple and really quite effective as a smaller little gift tag or upsized as a larger card. And you can also have some fun with this design. If you think back to your um, the Wellington Boot workshop that we did last weekend, why not do a family of puddings? And you can actually have some different size puddings all on a little Christmas card. So you've got Daddy, Mummy and Baby Pud. You can just, it's just very, very simple little ideas, but you can really then um, do so much more with the, the very simple designs that we've demonstrated this afternoon. Okay, so we'll just bring back our little bauble design and all we're doing on our bauble design is you just need to make sure that your um, area of your bauble is, is completely dry and all we're then going to do is literally just rub out that pencil line. In the camera wobble I'm sorry. Now I've moved upstairs and I'm on this different desk I haven't worked out the best way to have my camera mounted at the moment so I do keep messing about with it so I do apologize if the camera has shaken a little bit during today's video. I'm still learning. So once you've um, got rid of your outer pencil edge, you're then left with a really nice bauble shape. And you can then just write your Christmas message onto your, um, your bauble. And I'm just going to write the words Yule Tide Wishes. And that's it. That's all you need to do for that little bauble design. Very, very simple. Very, very effective. Um, but I think it makes a charming, charming little card. I really do quite like that. So I'll pop that up there. And then bring in our little wreath. And all we're doing for our little wreath is we're just decorating each individual leaf. So we can just do our little linear leaves. We can go around the outside edge of each little berry. We can decorate the larger leaves. Maybe put in that central vein. I'll do the smaller ones. I'll pop them smaller ones onto a stem, I think. Another large one. Side edge of every little berry. A 
So it just worked quite methodically all the way around those foliages and leaves that you've drawn. When it comes to the stems with the berries on, make sure you, that you take the line of the stem over the top of the leaf. It just helps with the appearance of where the actual stems are positioned. So I'll put the central line in of this fir type foliage. And again, I'm not working around each individual shape that we've painted. I'm just using it as a background. And then just adding that pen detail over the top. Pop that onto a stem. Attach the berries. detail these little paler ones and they need to be added to a stem so we'll just link them up And then just put these couple of little bits of foliage in. And there we have it. Very, very simple again, but really quite nice and effective. And you can do that um, which, however way you wished. You can actually change that around and put it into a little gift tag. Um, or you can make it into a larger card. But it does actually sit quite nicely onto an A6, um, an A6 card. So, that's it. Let me just show you what we've done today. So we've done our little, um, we've done our little wreath. We've also painted our very, very delicate little um, sprigs of um, mistletoe. And all we can do to finish off those is we can just write the word mistletoe just up one leaf. So I'm going to actually write it um, along this one here. So I'm just going to write the words mistletoe. So just something very, very simple. If you wanted to, if you wanted to define anything on this um, picture, then what you can do is you can actually just take the, um, the pen lines just around that string, just to help to define that ever so slightly. And then just put those tails in. And there we have it. Just really, really simple, but really quite effective. So there's your mistletoe.
we've done our little Yuletide wishes and you can then adapt that for the, um, the Joy card and we've done a little wreath We've done a little pudding, running out of space, we've done a little pudding, and then finally we've done our little no peeking. So we've actually done six designs today. Um, it's been a pleasure to record this video for you today and I hope I've given you plenty of designs now to be getting on with um, over um, on the run up to Christmas. Lots of different ideas, um, like I say you can group those puddings together and do a personalised Christmas card as a family of little puddings. You can certainly adapt this wreath idea in a number of different ways. The mistletoe would look nice framed and mounted if it was something that you wanted to give as a gift. But please do have some fun, enjoy your painting and uh, and I shall see you, well I'll see some of you on Friday um, for Fairy Friday. And um, the, don't forget that the next Daily Art Challenge is starting on Monday the 30th of November. And during the course of the week, we're going to be painting a moon gazing hair. Enjoy your painting. Like I say, have lots of fun and be creative. And I shall see you all again very, very soon indeed. Goodbye.